It's legal. Our representatives are aware of the loophole. They leave that little hole open. Take advantage of it. I have to add this disclaimer. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not a tax professional. This information that I'm sharing is for entertainment and educational purposes only. <laughs> if you have any tax related questions that are unique to your personal situation, I strongly recommend that you contact a tax professional. All right. <laughs> Y'all like my advertising voice? <laughs> Contribute the max to my Roth IRA for 2024. The max is 7,000. Under 50, 50 and over, you get to contribute an extra thousand dollars. So 8,000 for you. I can't contribute directly to a Roth IRA because it has income limits. When your income exceeds the limit, you have to use the backdoor method. And the backdoor method is just simply an extra step. You have to open a traditional IRA and a Roth IRA. Anybody can contribute to a traditional IRA. If your income exceeds the limits, it's just not tax deductible. That's fine. So you contribute the $7,000 to your traditional IRA. And then once it posts in your traditional, then you do a Roth conversion. And that's called the backdoor method because you're paying taxes on the money that you put in your traditional. It's not tax deductible because your income exceeds the limits and then you convert. So that's how a high income earning person can get access to a Roth IRA and skirt around the income limits. It's legal. Our representatives are aware of the loophole. They leave that little hole open. Take advantage of it. Put that $7,000 in a backdoor Roth IRA. Will you have to pay taxes again, converting it to a Roth? No, because you've already paid taxes, right? This is after tax money that you're putting in a traditional IRA. A traditional IRA is only tax deductible if you meet the income limits, but anybody can invest in a traditional IRA, right? So I wouldn't meet the income limits. So I would put after tax money in a traditional IRA. And because I've already paid taxes on it, when I convert it, the contribution is converted to a Roth IRA without paying taxes again. What you will pay taxes on, depending on the timing of your conversion, if you invested the money when you put it in your traditional IRA, if that money grows and you convert the growth over to the Roth IRA, you will pay taxes on the growth. But when I'm doing the backdoor method and I put the money in the traditional IRA, I don't invest it. So when you put your money in the IRA, it's not invested. It just goes into your settlement account. So I don't invest it. As soon as it posts, I do the conversion. I don't invest it until it gets into the Roth IRA. The money that grows in the Roth IRA grows tax-free.